Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I've got a more than autumn project for you featuring the little donut, so cute. Um, I have a series of projects using this bundle so if you're looking for more ideas, hop back to my blog using the link here on YouTube and you will find them. Uh, this is my favorite bundle from our new uh, fall 2024 catalog. The possibilities are endless. You can make up as many things as you want. Um, for this one, I went with nothing's better than donuts. Um, you could say you had me at donuts. This calls for donuts. Again, I mean, the possibilities are endless. All right, so what's inside? Let me show you. I found these. Have you guys seen these before? There's actually two different flavors. Um, and yes, I did try one. There's one missing. <laughs> They're pretty good. 100 calorie little donut. It's a nice little afternoon pick me up with your coffee, I would think. And I am using this really fun gingham checked um, designer series paper from the new paper pack called A Little Bit Festive. It is in the holiday catalog. This isn't a holiday themed project, but um, it does use pro products from the holiday catalog. All right, well, let's make our box first, okay? You are gonna need your Simply Sport or your Stampin' Trimmer, and we're gonna use Knight of Navy, and this piece measures six and three-fourths by eight and a half. I am gonna measure the long side, let me move that out of the way, at three and four, seven and eight. All right, and then turn it to the short side, and score at one, four and three fourths, and five and three fourths. All right, now it is important to burnish your lines really well, so grab your bone folder, which mine was sitting right here, and there it is, it was hiding. Okay, <laughs> now let's burnish those lines. Just take your time, go down and burnish all of them. You wanna make them nice and crisp. Okay, now let's look at our piece. On this end right here, we've got this skinny half inch section. We're gonna start there. Cut off the rectangle on the bottom and the two rectangles up here. All right. And then I'm also going to just snip off the corners from that tab. All right, now um, I have to always think about this. This is going to be the part that folds down into the box. So we need to keep this square and this square. All right, so I'm going to cut off this one like that. And then we'll cut this one. And we're also going to cut this off too. So let me grab my big scissors. We might as well just go all the way across. Okay, you guys still with me? Now let's cut off this section right here. All right, now turn it back over here and we're going to snip these right here, coming from this side, okay? Like that. And I can see that I didn't cut that one straight. All right, so now one more set of snips down here. And these are gonna be down in the box, so I'm just gonna cut the corners off a little bit like that. To make it go together a little bit easier. Okay, so let me set this down so you can see what it looks like. There we go, these are up like that. Now, one thing that I am gonna do, I'm gonna use a corner rounder to round these corners. I haven't used my corner rounder in a very long time, and I think it just looks really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to round those corners. All right, and then I'm gonna get that designer series paper that I talked about that I love so much and put that on this side. Now guys, there's a free PDF over on my blog with the measurements for this project, so make sure you go over there and get it. All right, so let's take our tear and tape, put it right along that line, and then peel that off, and fold that down and fold that over, and there's your box. Okay, so you wanna close up the bottom, so do the sides, the back, and then the front. That will give you a nice rounded edge on all three sides.
go like that. All right, and then we just put our little donut in there, put those tabs down, and this guy can either go out or he can go in. I'm gonna take, put him in. All right, and there's your box. Now, let's make those cute little donuts. I am gonna stamp them. Let me clean up my mess just a bit. I'm gonna stamp them in Memento, and I decided to have some fun and use my pinks. I'm gonna use Melon Mambo and um, Pretty in Pink. If you wanna change that, you know, to something else, of course, you can. All right, let's see, I need my light melon mambo. And I'm gonna use the bullet tip in so that I don't get out of line. And I'm gonna color that in. So I'm using light melon mambo, but I'm gonna use dark, pretty and pink. Nope, not pretty in pink. Bubble bath, what am I talking about? Bubble bath. Dark bubble bath, light melon mambo. Just to have some pink donuts. I designed this box to kind of go with the packaging of those little 100 calorie donuts. So if yours is different or you use something else, you know, play around with your colors. All right. Grab that lid. <clears throat> now I'm gonna take light crumb cake and very carefully I'm gonna color in the donut cake part that's showing through. Like that. And then, oh, we can't forget the insides also. Then <clears throat> you're gonna get your dies and you're gonna cut them out. Now I wanna point out that see this little blob of icing that goes that way? You wanna look for the bump out that that goes with. There's two bump outs and one fits better than the other. So twist it to make sure you get the right um, cut. Now I've done this ahead of time cut these out for us so let me grab them all right now one other thing I'm going to add is some wink of Stella just to make it more fun a little bit of shimmer to those donuts okay now bring over a basic uh, white stylus shape stitched circle this is um, the second largest and I'm going to use melon mambo Melon Mambo is my favorite color, and I don't get to use it enough, so I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna uh, stamp, <laughs> I almost said type. I'm gonna stamp the word donut right there, and then I'm gonna take the bubble bath and the little confetti, or sprinkles is what it really is, the sprinkles, and go around the edge of my circle. like that. All right, now we're gonna heat emboss our sentiment and then we're gonna put it all together. And um, I'm gonna just use one of these little scraps over here and we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Versamark. You know what? Let's rub it down with your embossing buddy. That will uh, remove any static that is there. And I'm gonna stamp this close to the edge that and then bring over my tray and let's see we missed a part right there um, it comes with a paintbrush which for some reason mine is always lost missing but it um, will allow you to brush off those little granules in uh, places that you don't want them we're gonna we're gonna trim this down real tight around the words so I'm not worried too much about those down at the bottom. Get your heat tool and heat it up. You will know when it is done, when everything is bright, white, and a little bit shiny. All right, let's close that up. And you wanna grab your trimmer. 
And I'm just gonna, like I said, make this nice and tight around. Well, let's do it this way. Those words, I just want a skinny, narrow little strip of words. Nothing's better than donuts. Okay, all right, let's put it all together. We need some dimensionals. We'll start with our donuts. We'll put one like that. And we'll have them kind of overlapping like that. And then I'm gonna get my foam adhesive strips. These are really good when you have something really narrow. Oh, I have one that's already the right size right there. And you want it to be popped up. These little narrow foam strips work fabulous. Fabulously. All right, I'm just gonna put that right across the bottom of those donuts. Okay, it's coming together. It's so cute. Let's put a dimensional here. Put that there. I'm gonna add a bow. This is our frayed edge white ribbon. It's an online exclusive. You'll find it online. It's a fun ribbon, I really like it. And then cut those ends off. And you know what? I meant to get my glue dots. I have lost my glue dots. So let's pretend that we glued that on with a glue dot. And then last but not least, I've got these awesome glossy dots. We've got Melon Mambo right here. So let's put on some of these glossy dots. Uh, let's put the big one up here like that. And if I can get them off the sheet, goodness. Come on there, come on, the little one should be picked up. There we go. And there you go, this would make a great little fun pick me up in the afternoon for somebody or friend a co-worker anybody really i mean who doesn't love donuts right and these are only 100 calories all right i'll have a link to the donuts on my blog if you want to look at them free pdf with measurements and supply lists as well as two other more than autumn projects happy stamping everybody thanks bye bye